Today we first gonna bleach his hair. We got the bleaching products, you know, quick blue. Everything's gonna be in the description. We're gonna be using quick blue. Uh, he's gonna be doing half and half like we talked about. And then you know you got the volume, the developer, and you have to get a developer because that's how you develop your, your bleach. <laughs> guys for every mixture that you guys put for one cup you want to put two ounces of the developer so if you guys don't know how much that is get get like a measuring cup and measure that out all right tell them about like you know how when you started your dreadlocks and how you started it so i started in uh january at my barber's and what i did was i just uh got i bought a sponge and all i did was just keep twisting it with the sponge no for four months then after that, I just let it do whatever. Pretty much took a shower every day and just saw the progress. And then, uh, like, what kind of, like, who inspired you to get dreadlocks? Like, uh, the uh, the way you got it? My brother, you, mm -hmm. and Gunther the Great, that's pretty much it. And La Rock, if you know who that is. La Rock, I've heard of that. That's a bit more longer. It's about to be crazy. <laughs> sort of crazy, bro. It looks nice. You don't think it looks nice? No, I think it looks nice. It's just, if it was more longer, it probably would look way better. So, is that your natural hair color? Is that what you're telling me? I think it's from the sun, kinda. Definitely it's the sun, yeah. Cause I, yeah, I used to be in the sun a lot uh, last year, over the summer. I'm ready for this transformation though. All right guys, so if you wanna start dyeing your hair, you wanna first of all section out your hair. Pick the side that you wanna do, of course, the half and half on. This time he picked the left side because DC, the Don, or Don the DC, whatever the rapper name is, he has a basically a red on his left side or his right, and uh, we basically went with that. You wanna split your whole entire dreads in the middle so you can have one side perfectly bleached and perfectly dyed a new color. You don't wanna have, you know, uneven split in the middle because then it will look weird you know what i mean you want it to look to, to look really good and also the next tip that i want to give you is don't bleach your roots man if you want to bleach your roots just go extra careful don't go above the time that the bleach says it should around your scalp but it gets really hot already and with the temperature that is starts to absorb with the bleach uh, you actually going to end up having more uh, reaction going on uh, for the bleach at the tip of your scalp or at the root of your scalp than the tip of your hair so be careful when you guys do your roots if you guys decide to do so watch my video watch my other videos on how to bleach hair and different things and also use some tips that I give you right now to avoid it if you were to bleach your entire hair just avoid your baby hair you need your baby hair man uh, you need your baby hair to help line yourself up in the future and different things and it's one of those things that don't really grow back as fast or stronger than the rest of your hair so please avoid your baby hair but besides that guys this is the transformation kind of deal and also a half and half transformation I've done a video on the entire transformation where I gave him the haircut retwist uh, uh, color dye and bleach but this time I want to just emphasize to let you guys know how you guys are able to do it because a lot of people ask like whoa this is cool I love the hair like how did you do it and different things because I didn't give out tutorial on the first one I just did a whole transformation so if you guys are enjoying these videos hit the thumbs up I'll bring more videos and tutorials on uh, subscriber dreadlocks and if you are a subscriber then reach out to me on uh, my Instagram at activers to kind of get featured and also if you have a channel you will you end up kind of like collabing with me also quote unquote you know what I mean uh, but mainly I'm gonna be doing the works <laughs> you just gonna be sitting there so I don't think it's, it ain't no collab for you brother it's just you just sitting down and doing nothing but if you want to collab and have an idea then bring it on my brother because I'm here to help you out I love meeting new subscribers and doing everybody's hair whenever you get to the point where you want to wrap it around kind of like let everything get touched up with the bleach first before you wrap up anything or else one of them will be timed more than the other ones so the room temperature is a, the best leveler that you got till you're done with the rest of your hair I don't wrap it up right away some people I think so I see some people do it and they end up just giving you one side being you know really super bleached the other side not so just try to avoid that and also if you have a lot of hair uh, like a long hair I think plastic bag might be your way or like a cap if you have one but if you don't have a long hair and if you have a short hair like that the best option for you is a foil because a foil will be able to cover it without it touching your roots or your side of your hair or even other dreadlocks that you shouldn't be touching so that's a quick tip for you also love y'all enjoy the rest of the video uh, I, see, I can see that some of the dreadlocks are connecting which are good you guys can see right here that this dreadlock has connected up top here and so I mean that's a really good sign because then especially in the back it tends to thin out for some reason 
And I'm thinking that's the head sleep at the most. And so it ends up just getting rubbed the most. And that, you know, it takes out some of the hair out of it or it makes it like super skinny just because how much friction that it gets. But his dreadlocks, most of them are doing the same thing. And it's because he started it with a sponge method that ended up going very skinny basically. And some of them are not that bad. For example, right here, this one gonna be really nice once it starts to grow out, out of the root. You can see that the root is it's maintained, but not too, too maintained, which is good for it because then it can start absorbing other hairs and connecting and uh, becoming thicker basically. All right, we're gonna open this and see if this is, you know, almost done. Look pretty good. I would say let's give them about five more minutes because sometimes it looks like super bright in the foil but when you wash them out it's super dark or brownish so you guys want to let it sit to where it's kind of like almost a platinum blonde it's almost like a paper yes sir oh yep that's it that's it right there so guys don't wait too long whenever you set another timer you guys do not want to touch your roots if you guys are doing all these stuff. And you want to wash it in there. Mm. Let me like. Just start wetting it first. First, get the stuff out first. There it is, bro. Oh, chill, you X now. <laughs> yeah, so easy. You feel like shampoo you just want to get? You just want to dye your hair? Share my light, link should be in the description. I wait, wait until the red comes. Oh, dang. That's dope. Like, it shows up so bright. All right, guys, so as we started with the video, he wanted to do half and half, so we got this beautiful, I don't know what brand this is good. I don't know which one it is, but it is this right here. It looks really nice and good, so we're gonna use this right here, and it's gonna be red. It just looks gray on the outside, but I'm gonna open it up right now. Let's see oh yeah okay we apply it just like the bleach on a light hair so we're gonna apply it on this side and then after that we're gonna rinse it with shampoo do not condition and dry apply the dye and get creative with it all right guys it looks really good this is after like 20 minutes and I try to wipe it down or anything like that squeeze it out and uh, yeah, it looks pretty good and I'm gonna apply it just like I applied the bleach basically and throughout it and I think this is enough for every one of them, so. But I'll make sure that if even if it doesn't get all to throw out the whole dreadlocks, I'll basically um, kind of like connect them, not connect them, but like touch them up with the other with the other ones that have already been uh, dyed red. So. Why is he DC the Dom? I don't even know. Like DC as in like DC Universe? Like, yeah. For real? I think so. Bruh, you looking fresh, bruh. What in the world? Okay. That's crazy. That's crazy. I like it. You like it? You don't look like you like it, bro. Come on, I man. Do, what? This is clean. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it came out so perfect. Let's get a highlight tape going on. Sheesh. Even the fact that like I didn't even touch the roots, I think that made it really nice. Yeah. Like if I touched up the roots, it would have still looked nice, but I wouldn't think it would look as good as this. Cause it's just almost like 
this dark right here, mm -hmm. then just blends in. The thing like it? Yeah. Jeez, bro. That would be fifty dollars right there, bro. What? <laughs> just kidding, bro. <laughs> <laughs>